Night Night Newton by Rory Tiger. Creak, creak, creak. Newton woke up suddenly. There was a funny noise somewhere in the room. Don't be scared, he told his toys. There's always an explanation for everything. He gave each of his toys a special cuddle so they wouldn't be scared. Creak, 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 went the noise again. Newton got out of bed and turned on the light and walked across the room. See toys, he said, there is nothing to be scared of. It's only the closet door. Newton went back to bed again. Flap, flap, flap. What was that? Was it a ghost? Once more, Newton got out of his bed and he wasn't really scared, but he took his bravest toy, Snappy, just in case, and he tiptoed very quietly toward the noise. Flap, flap, flap. Of course, said Newton. Just what I thought. It was his bedroom curtains flapping in the breeze. I'll fix this, said Newton. You were very brave, Snappy, he said as he closed the window. Splish, splash, splish. Another noise. Newton looked outside. It wasn't raining. Besides, the noise wasn't coming from outside. It wasn't coming from his bedroom either. What was it? Stay right there, you two, said Newton, while I look around. He wasn't the tiniest bit afraid. He was just taking Snappy with him for company. Newton crept down the hallway. It was very spooky, especially in the dark corners. Splish, splash, splish went the noise. Very, very quietly, Newton opened the bathroom door. Well, of course, we knew it was the bathroom faucet, didn't we, Snappy? said Newton. Newton turned off the faucet and tiptoed back down the hallway. Shh, he said to Snappy, just in case something in the dark corner sprang out at them. Before he got into bed, Newton pulled back the curtains just to check. It was very, very quiet outside. No more funny noises, said Newton. You can go to sleep now, he told all of his toys. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh no, cried Newton, what was that? Newton listened very hard, not a sound. He was just beginning to think he hadn't heard anything at all when rumble, 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 there it was again. He peered under his bed, nothing there at all except for an old piece of candy he'd forgotten about. Don't worry, Newton told his toys. We'll soon find out what it is. Rumble, Newton stood very still. Rumble, to Newton listened very hard. Rumble, went the noise, and suddenly Newton knew exactly what it was. Newton plodded downstairs and into the kitchen. He helped himself to a large glass of milk and two thick slices of bread and honey. And now he couldn't hear the rumble, rumble, rumble at all because the rumbling had been in his empty tummy. Newton went upstairs again and told his toys about his rumbling tummy. There's always an explanation for everything, said Newton as he climbed back into bed. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight. Snore, 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 went Newton. The end.